Shopkeeper violence week cometh. Haven't been following anyone else tonight. Hopefully they're going for a bit of the old ultra violence. And that the shopkeepers are getting their oh jeez. It's irresponsible to keep those snakes in those pots. Irresponsible. I guess that was why this game is so clever. It balances risk and reward really well. You got the risk of opening a pot. Maybe there's a reward. Maybe there's a risk. The risk of going for that gold over a spike. Very clever game design. Sorry, Pug. Puggins, Pug, Pugsworth. Totally forgot. I feel really bad for you. In my practice warm-up game, I actually used a pug to block an arrow. It's ruthless. Absolutely not on. Right, no shop yet. I don't think there can be a shop on the first level though, so there's still time. Made it this far. Oh, hello. There's a shopkeeper. Now, Jonathan argues these guys aren't shopkeepers, but... I think they count towards the achievement for killing a lot of shopkeepers in one run, so... Therefore, the game treats them as shopkeepers. don't think it's such a stretch to kill them like shopkeepers. Although, hmm, getting to this guy is going to be tricky. Alright, well, I'm on a mission. If you're going to do something. Here we go. Now I'm going to try throwing timed bombs. I've seen Marcus do this. Nope, and I'm never managed to do it right. So, now's the time. I'm going to run out of bombs. Uh, I don't think it's my fault if I run... Okay, one last try. No. Oh well, if I find some more bombs, I'll come back from... So I've just wasted all of my bombs. And not achieved any shopkeeper violence. Bad times. Oops. Throwing my rocks through all the hoops. Okay. Have a good time. Have a good time. Alright. Um. Oh, oh, I've run out of bombs. Okay, well. No, no! Yeah, I should have saved them bombs. Oh, well. 